Hi, welcome back to Flash Custom Designs. If you're new here, my name is Shelly. Here on my channel, we have tips, tricks, and tutorials on creating merchandise, uh, creating a small business. And today's video is about refilling our Espen 2720 printer. It is a it has been converted into a sublimation printer. It's a regular printer converted. We do have a video on that. We'll put that in the description on how to initially convert it from regular printer and fill it with sublimation ink. Uh, so today we're just gonna do a quick video on refilling the tank. Um, I've had it probably maybe six months to a year. So now I think it's time to go ahead and refill it with ink and we're just gonna update you guys. We're gonna have straight out of content, uh, refilling it for us today. So let's get straight into the video. Hey guys, we're back. We're back with another video. We're straight out of content. Um, you guys have been tremendous on the last sublimation video of how to fill your printer, um, your inkjet Epson ET2720 uh, printer. You guys got that video to over 11,000 views. So it's about six months later and it's time to actually refill the, uh, the tank. So if you come here, you can see that it looks like that we don't need any ink, but actually we do need ink. And the reason why is the ink that settled in there from the levels that we filled it up from the first video have actually stained this plastic a little bit. So it's really, it's really a little misleading. Um, we have a big project coming up and we're going to be doing a lot of uh, sublimation printing. My wife in Flash Custom Designs, she has a big project. She's gonna be doing a lot of sublimation printing with StarCraft. Oh, it's not correct? Okay, well, <laughs> I thought she was gonna be doing StarCraft. But anyway, all the products that we use today in the video will be in the description down below. So we're going to refill it. So again, if this is your first time watching how to fill it, the process works the same. If it's your second time watching how to refill it, the process is the same. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our gloves. As you see, these gloves still have ink from the first time that we used it. Um, whenever you fill up your tank, you definitely should not use all of your ink. You should have some ink left. So here we go. We still have all the ink, pretty decent levels of all the different ink. You can barely see that one. I don't know if you can see that one. Probably can't really see that one, but this is, it's extremely important to keep everything, okay? So you definitely wanna keep everything, keep all the same needles, everything still works. You could probably run some alcohol through the needles. I'm not going to do that. Um, everything is about a quarter way. Probably can't, it's about right there. And then the black, definitely can't see that. We just give them a shake. And we're going, the first step that you want to do is take this little hinge thing, a little button here on the side, pull it down. First color we're gonna start with is cyan or blue. You just wanna pull this up a little bit. Boom, pull that up a little bit. Look for the right syringe color. Is that it? No. Is that it? No. This looks like this. I mean, this looks like the right color. This looks like blue, because this looks like black. Sometimes they can look similar. So, wanna take this off, be very careful. Okay. Just make sure it's on there tight. Just wanna spin this cap. Stick this in there. And we wanna pull up for gravity. Be very careful. I like to stick mine in there just a little bit. Oh, that's too much, sticking in there. Then we're gonna pull for gravity. Or pull and let the gravity make the ink go right in there. Oh, it won't suck out, so a little bit more. Get as full as possible, then twist, cover it, because I don't want this to go on my clothes. <laughs> okay, so we got about nine milliliters, give or take. Okay, be careful, because this will definitely stain your clothes. You want to stick it in there. Kind of already see the paint in the back. 
You don't want to stick it in there like you're actually going to poke a hole. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is just rest it on top and then just start to squeeze slowly. Don't squeeze too fast because it will come up, but this is basically doing the job for me. And if you look down there, you can see it actually starting to fill up. I'm just come back up here. Just be very careful because it wants to kind of come up top. Like it wants to overflow. That's the word I'm looking for. Oh, see, it wants to overflow. It's going though. Look at the look at the syringe. See it going down. Oh, well, it's a little slow. Just be very gentle. Don't rush this process because you will squirt ink everywhere. You see, I'm almost done and I haven't made a mess. You just got to find the sweet spot, really. Um, but see, now it's flowing very easy. And I'm almost done. And this amount of ink will last a very long time. Unless you're only printing blue things, this amount of ink, this little small refill will last a very long time. Okay, so that's enough for that. We will put its cap back on. Okay, so the next color, go ahead and close that. Magenta, whatever it is. Peel it off, same process. Oh, it wants to come off, so you just make sure it's on there tight. Let's put this blue back. Okay, go over to this one. Shake it up a little bit. Because it's been sitting for a very long time, so I just want to shake it up a little bit. Remember to stick it in there. Just get a nice little seal. Nice seal. Just kind of angle it and then just start to pull. So you don't want to get too many air bubbles. Start to pull, looks like blood. We're going to try to get 10, 10 milliliters. And then we just want to twist out. Remember to cover it. You don't get any on your clothes. Oh, okay, same thing. This one looks like it's filled. Oh, I got some on the thing. That's okay, if you get some on there, you can just wipe that off with some alcohol. But if you look up here, see, it looks like it's filled. This one was just filled, this looks like it's filled. But trust me, there's not that much red in there. It should take all of this. Just let it go very slowly. You got the sweet spot, so it's just. And there we go. That's magenta. We're almost done. We got two down, two to go. Two down, two to go. What was that? You see, looks a lot more full. You see there. Let's go on over to black. Black's in front of me, so let's go ahead and do black. Again, if again, if you guys, oh, if you have any questions. Please leave uh, comments down below. We answer all of our questions. So if you have any, please ask because so many of, I think 150 people asked questions on the last video. So please ask all the questions. Like 
You can never ask enough questions. Chelly with Flash Custom Designs, she does this every day. Um, you can ask me the questions here straight out of content, but definitely ask Chelly on Flash Custom Designs. This video will also be on her um, YouTube as well. And please ask her, contact her on um, Instagram at Flash Custom Designs on Instagram and uh, ask her any questions that you have. She has really all the tips and tricks of how to do sublimation, vinyl printing and stuff like that. She's come a long way since when we first made this video. Same process as the other two. We're gonna skip yellow, go over here to black. Black is really the pri um, primary color. I'm, what I'm kind of doing, the little trick that I'm using, I'm kind of sticking it way over here in the corner and then just pushing very gently. Very gentle. So on your printer, try the corner way over here. You wanna use the hole in the back, so not the first half a hole, the hole that's um, kind of pointing back here. You wanna use that half a hole because it's kind of a circle, but it's cut in half. So use one back here to fill. I mean, use the one back here to fill it um, and kind of stick it all the way in this corner over here. And you're noticing there's not too much bubbling up. I'm just keeping a very gentle pressure on it. And that's really it. Oh, so he wants to do it right there at the end. It wants to bubble up, but it, it didn't overflow, which is great, okay? That's that one. And last but not least, yellow. And see, this will probably last us till the summer. So this one kit, this one kit can last a whole year. And it's 24 bucks. Maybe it's 25 now, you know what I mean? With tax or whatever. That's extremely economical. If you have a business and you wanna run sublimation and that's all you have to pay, 25 bucks a year for all this ink. I mean, you really can't beat that. There's a really, I mean, the colors print vibrant. I can't, we don't have any complaint about the colors. Um, yeah, I mean, babe, what do you think? I think it all just really depends on how much your business um, prints with the sublimation. Um, our primary source of... Printing. Printing is vinyl. Um, so I, I say about 10% is sublimation. So it was able to last us pretty long, but it just really depends on what business or it depends on your crafts and how much you really use your ink. But it does, I have seen um, a lot of feedback with this ink and it does last a while. So, so this one was high, like the highest filled. Um, you notice the blue and the blacks. If you look down there at the bottom, the blue and the blacks, they look about 75%, whereas the red and yellow look about 80 to 90%. But again, it has been used and the, uh, the staining of the ink can really mislead, but we probably won't do red and yellow again. The next time we fill up, see when I stick it, if I stick it up right over here in the corner, you stick it right here in the corner, just, just press down, that's it, gentle. Again, just let it go, just like that. Don't stick it in there, do not do that. Do not stick this in like you're trying to stick it into somebody's skin. I'm sure people have tried, probably done that and you will damage the tank. Just put it in there, let go, that's all you gotta do, and then push it all the way over here to the left and then try to push, I mean, and then start pushing the syringe. That's it guys. That is it, that concludes this video of a refill. How to convert your sublimation tank. I mean, I'm sorry, how to convert your sublimation printer refill. Okay, so um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Remember to contact my wife at Flash Custom Designs. You can contact me um, at straight out of content on Instagram. You can contact her at Flash Custom Designs on Instagram. Um, hope you guys liked this video. Again, we appreciate everybody who has liked and viewed the first video. That's our biggest video on the Straight Into Content page. 
we're trying to get my wife up on Flash Custom Design, so make sure you guys go watch this video on her page too if you already are, thank you very much. Um, you can get our merch now at flashcustomdesigns.com. The website is out, you can get everybody's merch. Thank you very much for watching this video. Again, we'll clean this off. Stay tuned for more videos on sublimation. She will be doing, Shelly will be doing so many more videos on sublimation. Make sure you go check out all the other videos that she has already done. And we just, again, just thank you, headed into 2021. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and follow us into 2021. You guys know our slogan, be safe, be basic. Dump, 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 dump,